Y'all heard me in church when I said that I felt the need to reach out on this case because of the nature of it. And my efforts to reach out to you, I was unsuccessful. Totally understand why you weren't ready, you know, grieving over your child, I get it. But we did get a hold of the father. I'm telling you right now, I got reamed from here to Texas. I'm talking about people from all over the world start telling me I was a fool, I was wrong, I was this, I was that. So how are you feeling about the father right now? So right now, with the father, all that I can do is tell people to pray for him. I'm not going to bash him. I'm not going to talk bad about him. I'm muting up. I already told you how this show goes. We just gonna listen together. Like then I'm gonna start another live, and we're gonna talk about it. The way I feel right now, I mean, I, I really just don't know. One of the one of the most disturbing videos that I saw that I'm still trying to get over was people saying that they actually saw him with cupcake wrapped in a sheet. Have you heard that story? Yes, I saw it. You saw it. Okay, and. Do you, I mean, like, when you hear something like that, like, how does that make you feel? Like, don't, doesn't that, doesn't that seem a little real to you? I mean, for me, it was hard to negate that. It's hard. Those women were not lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing when you see people on the Internet trying to make up a story, but I did not feel like those women were lying. They seemed to be very genuine, and I, I don't know. Like, for me, that, that, that was very disturbing for me. I mean, it's very disturbing. But right now, in this situation... It's really hard to tell who's lying and who's telling the truth because in a lot of situations I have seen some people be very supportive. I have seen some people switch over and be snarky. So in a lot of cases, you know, I do believe Birmingham Police Department will get down to the bottom of this and they will solve this case. But right now I can't speak on what right, other right. people have seen or saw because I wasn't there and I don't know them either. Right. I just believe Birmingham will get to the bottom of this. I know they will. I mean, that's that's God's will for sure. This this case made national news and has gotten the recognition that it has for a reason. And I believe that's to help bring the people responsible for this to the forefront. Um, there, the this morning I saw on the news where the guy that they have in jail, Patrick. <laughs> Stallworth, I think is his name. He's swearing to God he didn't have nothing to do with this. Do how do you feel about the two that they have? Do you feel like they have the right people? Yes, in a way, because I don't. One thing I know about children, children wouldn't lie. If they seen that truck out there, most likely they was out there. And Patrick, I pray to God, whatever he's involved in. I hope that God put it on his spirit to go ahead and tell the truth. Yeah, it, absolutely. I, I just, whoever, I mean, somebody, the, the truth will be revealed. There ain't no doubt about it. The truth will be revealed. Now, one of the other things that's disturbing to me is that a lot of people are trying to blame you. How does that make you feel? It hurts. I know that has because to hurt. That's your baby that you're trying to grieve. And at the same time, you're fighting people saying it's you. That's got to be hard. It hurts because me and my kids was on our normal routine. Every Saturday, Pee Wee football team. I drop my cousin off. He plays with my son. The normal routine, we go over my cousin's house. The kids, they play. And they be they were just being kids. Yeah. Family. So, and I'm just, again, I want you to be able to clear up all of this stuff that's on the internet. So I'm not asking these questions because I believe in you. I'm really just giving you the opportunity to clear up all of this. Everybody's a darn detective on the internet these days. It's so crazy. It's like, where did y'all get y'all's license from is what I want to know. I'm just so tired of everybody telling their story of what they feel happened and it's like, it's like, sit down. Y'all tainting the case. You know what I'm saying? All of this different stuff that they putting out. And I believe a lot of people are doing it because they see a lot of, um, a lot of attention around the case. And they feel like this is going to bring them some type of credibility. I've seen an awful lot of that. I've studied this case. I've seen every video. I've seen all the psychics talking about what they see. They see four people. They see this. They see that. I've seen it all because I wanted to know exactly what I'm dealing with when I sat down and talked to you. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's having to deal with all of this. Not just 
what happened to your baby, which is horrific. But then listening to all the stuff that's still going on after you're trying to grieve her. And that's why I wanted you to have this opportunity. So if there's anything you want to say to the general public, if you just want to tell them, shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? You can do that. But I just wanted to give you this opportunity to set the record straight and get everybody off of you. You know what I'm saying? If they're going to be on you, they need to be rallying around you. And they need to be doing what they need to do to help you. Not, not be putting out all these rumors and stuff. And I want to say, I'm sorry, because when I first went to this case, I didn't know you. I didn't know Dominique. All I saw was a horrible situation in the news. So when I reached out to Dominique, I didn't know anything about him. Of course, I told you. I know now because everybody came after me. I'm talking about everybody. It was like, why are you doing this for the father? He's not this. So has he reached out to his son? No. I haven't heard from Dominique. He texted me once. But like, as of them checking on Amari, nobody called and not even asked him. How he's doing. How he's doing. Son, let's go to lunch. Let's. Talk about what went on. Nothing. <sighs> Having nobody contact him, not even the grandmother. But wow. I got all these family members who on the news claiming that they love Cupcake so dearly. How y'all knew Cupcake but didn't know Amari? Amari was his son too. He's 10. And there has been no mention. Like they're not even they're not even talking about it. And it's just, you know, my 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 conversation with the mother and the son was just uh, unbelievable. It was a lot of stuff that was false. Okay, very and once false. Again, for them, like I said, pray for them. Yeah. I'm not going to scoop to their love. I'm not going to bash. I'm not going to talk bad. What happened to me, it could have happened to anybody. Right. Well, that's very big of you, too, because you don't seem bitter. You no. don't seem bitter. And that's, that's really good because that's, that's a sign of you being able to heal quicker. Because bitterness is, is like taking poison, hoping the other person dies. It just don't work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, it hurts. Of course Sometimes it does. I'm, I'm angry. Sometimes I might lash out a little. Of course. But yeah. me fighting fire with fire, I can't fight fire with fire. All I can do is lead it up to the Lord. And false prophets, false psychics. All of that all stuff. All that is in the Bible. Yes, yes. I can't believe what... Someone saying because if it ain't sent through the Lord, how can I get on here and believe a, a, a false prophet or a psychic? Yeah, they, 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 I feel like whatever God will show in this powerful message because it's amazing, like you said, it was a lot of girls that have been missing, still is every day. Still and we, is. and we as society, we're not doing nothing about it. We wait, it always has to happen to us before we take it seriously. Before. Not for me, though. Not for me. Like, honestly, like, I, I promise you, I feel you. Trust me, I have from the day God put this on my on my heart. Because I got a granddaughter. I got a son. And I know how it feel if this happened to me. That's why when I talked to you and your family, I wanted y'all to know that this wasn't about anything other than giving you the peace that you need. It's too much going on out there. And without you saying anything, it leads people to believe whatever they want to believe. That's why I wanted you to be able to say, hey, I'm not speaking because I choose not to. This is my choice. I don't have to speak if I don't want to. I'm going to let the Lord handle this. And then the Lord handle it. But also, like you said, people, a lot of people haven't been in my shoes. When this first happened, how can I speak to media? How right. can I eat? How right. can I sleep? People don't think about that. People do not think about that. Um, the moment you you and your mama told me straight up, you was like, we're not ready. We're grieving. What did I say? Let's don't worry about no story right now. What can we do to help y'all? What can we do to help? And that's what this is all about at the end of the day. And it still is. I'm yeah. It's about Cupcake. You know what I'm saying? This is about Cupcake. This is about you and your mama being able to grieve and get on with life. But y'all can't let Cupcake die. You cannot. This is an opportunity for, this is a movement. This is like mad mothers, you know, mothers against drunk drivers. This is that type of movement here where Cupcake can live forever. Your child touched so many people. Like, I'm not, I mean, there's a lot of people, like we talking about, missing. But it was something about Cupcake that touched the world. And that's why I said she's special. And God is going to reveal who did this. That's, that's something we can all rest in peace. Like the pastor said this morning, we can rest in peace over that because it's going to be revealed. It's going to be revealed. And you will have your, you will have your peace of mind. But all I have to say to you is 
As a mother, I can't imagine. I'm so sorry for you. And again, I just wanted you to have your voice and shut all of these private detectives down on the internet who swear to God they know what's going on and what happened and they were nowhere to be found. We supposed to understand. Ain't no such thing as a perfect mother. No. A lot of people talking, drug addict. I never did drugs a day in my life. I got up every day, worked to a long 12 hour shift, young single mother. My son played football. I, my, my life revolved around those children. Wow. And a lot of people don't understand. They know I wasn't the clubbing type. I wasn't always out in the street, but it hurts when you got so many people slandalizing. Children. And your, your children name. And your and name. Me as a, a character, as a person. But it hurts more when the person who you made these kids with is joining those people. Is joining in on them. Now, the crazy part for me was, and a lot of people were saying, you know, if the baby was at the party and you weren't watching her. First of all, what mother has her child, her eyes on her child, 24 hours a day, 365? All of us as parents can say that our kids have been playing outside or playing with other kids, and we didn't have our eyes on them. This could happen, okay? This can happen to anybody. Okay, as like I said, I know I'm a good mother. I know I love my child with all my heart. But have I put him in a position where this could have happened to him? Absolutely. Did I do it purposely? No. This is just what happens in life. You let go of your kids. You let them go outside and play. You try to give them a little freedom. Because you don't want to live your life in fear thinking you got to protect your kids from everything. Cupcake was comfortable at she exactly. Was at her cousin's house. Exactly. She was playing. Everybody in that square complex knew Cupcake, besides the young lady who had just moved there from the party. There was somewhere Cupcake was there every day, or almost every other day. She was familiar with it. She had a cousin she played with every day. The person who was wrong in this situation is Patrick and Derek. Yeah. They the one who was. Praying on innocent kids that were just out being kids. Have you? Do you know Derek at all? No, I never seen Derek or Patrick a day in my life, and that's what hurts the most. Because it seems like just even from just what's out, and again, I'm only speculating, and and because I'm not no detective either. But it seems like to me, like right now, there is more evidence against her than it is against Patrick. It seems like like Derek had a lot to do with this. And when you look at her history, she got a bad history as a child. And hurt people hurt people. That's what they do. That's how you got these people growing up being molesters because they probably molested themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with Derek, I, when I studied who she was, she came from one foster home after another. She was not treated properly in these foster homes. She was abused. A lot of stuff went wrong in her life. Not that that's an excuse, but it definitely, it lends to proof that she has something to do with this. It definitely does. And even like, I, again, like all the stuff that's on the internet, everybody is pointing toward her more than they are Patrick. Um, so it's like, again, how can you be a female and 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 put this type of pain on a child. Yeah, he guilty as she is. He oh, he guilty. guilty. He guilty. guilty. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say he's not guilty, but it seems like from what everybody's saying, including the police, like she did most of the work. And I understand that from what you're telling me, but the main problem of the story was that was a three year old baby who didn't know nothing about the world, not a care in the world. Just was an innocent child. Yep. It don't it don't matter if Patrick was just dead with her. The main He didn't save her. Exactly. He did not save her. She okay, couldn't defend so for herself. That's she right. wasn't and another adult that probably could have fought off. This was a defenseless child out playing with her family and friends. Mm, 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 mm. So regardless of who did the most it never should have happened. Never, 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 ever. So, so in terms of you and your and your son, what? How do you see? How do you see y'all moving forward in life? Are you thinking about therapy to? Because I mean, like this has to be hard for him not to be able to see his sister every day. You know what I mean? Well, right now, yes, we are doing therapy. But one thing I can say, it, it, it's gonna be hard because Cupcake, she was. 
with got everybody going in the morning. Her mm-hmm. name was Cupcake. For a reason. But she was a spicy little something, too. <laughs> got a question. Who named her Cupcake? I did when I was pregnant with her. Okay. Because I asked that because the father has a video out that he named her Cupcake when she first came out. and When I found out I was having a girl, I came up with the nickname Cupcake. I didn't even know what her government name was going to be. I didn't, we didn't right. come up with the name Camille until like two weeks before she was born. Oh, wow. But her name was always Cupcake before she was even here. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, one of the things that I said to your mom, and I'll say this again, is that Cupcake has put you in the limelight. Hmm. Your proof. Steve, you didn't get to the hospital. Right, right. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that post on your page about you calling her Cupcake. But the thing is, is that you've been put, again, almost like the pastor said this morning, is that sometimes our strongest storms put us in our biggest light. And so with this right here, April, this is giving you the opportunity to truly have a voice in this world. It really is. Like, you don't have any idea how many people love and respect you. You know what I'm saying? How many people are rallying for you? I'm telling you, I wish you could have seen how many people I could show you proof in my inbox where people were letting why are you touching the father? Why are you doing? And I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm just thinking I want to help the parents. I did not know. But this has put you in a light. Do you plan on doing something with that? I mean, not now. I know not now because you gotta you gotta take care of you right now. But once you're over this, like with Trayvon Martin's mom, this has opened up so many opportunities for her. She's now a voice for you know kids being killed uh, for behind racial stuff. Is this something that maybe you see yourself doing in the future? Well, it might be, but honestly, just to be honest, that's why I said a lot of people don't know me. Mm-hmm. My life was already based off that, just from what I do every day as a living. I help people on a regular every day at the hospital. Anybody who knows who, who works for me, I always treat it. Every patient I always had as if they was family. I, al- I always had a loving streak. What I was doing before Cupcake went missing, it was, it was out the of same love. Thing. It was the same thing I done every day. Pick the boys up from the game, drop them off at my cousins. Honestly, before it happened, I was on my way to pick up my cousins from the movies. Because one thing they know about April is whenever you call me, you on your way. I'm on my way. If I have it, I'll give you my latest. One of the other things that bothered me, too, was you had a video where you posted of you and Cupcake, and you were saying that day that Cupcake was wearing you out. She was crying a lot, and she, you said, y'all, Cupcake, getting to me today. So many people <laughs> came after you for that. And I was saying to myself, I done seen y'all in the grocery stores cussing y'all kids out like they was, you know what I'm saying, criminals. Now y'all going to get on this girl because she had a live saying her child was getting on her nerve. How many times as mothers have we said our kids is getting on our nerve? Okay, come on. You ain't no mama if your kids ain't getting on your nerve. You know what I'm saying? But, but what I'm saying is, like, even then, I was like, why are people coming after her for that? Come on, y'all trying to act like y'all's kids never get on y'all's nerves. You ain't no real mama if your kids don't get on your nerves. Okay? Four. I mean, she, it was hot. She had just came in from riding a bike. She had wanted to go back out. But one thing I also knew in that video, people didn't understand, Cupcake was cranky because it was time for her nap. Right. But she still wanted to go out and play. So it wasn't really me being irritated cupcake was saying mama mom because she wanted to go back out and play but it, even it was, if you were irritated there ain't nothing wrong with that you don't have to make you don't owe the world no excuses for how you raise your child at the end of the day they all they doing is drawing to conclusions because of this little tiny pieces of a story that they got Okay, that story is made up of every one of these napkins. These heifers then went out and got this and now they now they now they you know robocops come on Sit down somewhere, like That's for real. But yes, in the video, Cupcake was just being Cupcake. She and you just right. being a mama. Like, I didn't see nothing wrong with that video, but I saw people coming after you like crazy. Like, why is she posting this video? She misses her child, and any video she has interacting with her child, she has the right to post that. And y'all have the right to either come on the page and like it or go somewhere and I sit down. the video was really just, it was adorable to me. Exactly. Because it was just showing how... <laughs> Right, she really is. But Sean, but it's like Sean said, she feel like they felt like cupcake 
ran me. So but and the other thing, the one of the <laughs> other comments that bothered me is somebody <laughs> said her hair wasn't combed that day. Are y'all kidding me? Like, are y'all kidding me? First of all, every picture that I've seen of Cupcake, she looks adorable. Okay? Mm -hmm. You can tell a maintained child. Mm -hmm. And you can tell a child that's being neglected. Focus. Not one of those pictures had any sign of this being a neglected child. Not one. So let me ask anybody this. So if you got up for work, the sun down. You come home from work, the sun down. What time do you have to do a child hair every day? It going to be some days. What child you don't know who ain't going to have bad hair days? Or we all have it. We all have it. Or you send your child it. to school with that perfect bow. And when you can come pick them up from school, that bow missing. Oh, and their hair standing on top of their head. Exactly. I mean, they're not being a child. Exactly. Exactly. It was just, like I said, I just, I just, you know, I hate the internet when it comes to stuff like that. Social media has just become too much. I mean, it's again, like the devil's playground to me. Even with, like you said, devil's playground. For all those people who is criticizing, like I said, the only thing I can do is pray for them. That's it. I'm, I'm very proud of back. you. I'm, I'm proud not, of you for that. I am. Because most people speak. would be so bitter mm. and angry, especially given the circumstances around this. But that's what they want me to see. I mean, look at the world. I mean, yeah. look what you see on TV, love and hip hop, yeah. reality shows. That's what they want me to see. That's what they want to see. They want to see me and Dominique Few. They want to see me... Pull up trying to fight. They want to see me arguing and showing people as if my mom didn't teach me how to have home training. That's what they want to see. But I'm not going to give them that. What you say? You're going to give them back, man. You're going to keep a great record. I'm going to keep my heart. And it's not going to change that. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love you for that. I'm serious. Like, mm -hmm. that's amazing that you're saying. I'm talking about in the midst of what you're going through, the fact that you can overlook all these people that's got their mouth on you and still say you're not going to let them change you in the midst of what you're going on. That's a strong, you strong. You strong. You are strong. And God got you for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's got you going through this. I'm telling you, for a reason. And, again, um, I just, you know, I'm going to keep on praying for your strength. I'm, I'm here to help you. We're going to tell your story the way you want your story told. I will not put nothing out without your final approval. And I'm talking about nothing. Well, everything we do, when we get through editing it, it'll come to you first. And you say, yes, I like this or I don't. We're not here to exploit you. We're not. I almost cussed in church, Lord Jesus. Forgive me. But forget all the folks out there on the Internet. This is not about that. This ain't about trying to give y'all some more stuff to gossip about. This is about giving this mother peace. And finding out who did this to this baby and bringing them to justice. That's Amen. all Amen. this is about. So and also, I can say too, I hope it opened up people's hearts because this could have been anybody. Now that's what I say. At the end of the day, that's that's my mission, and it's not just for Cupcake. But I've been getting phone calls all week about the girl from Clark, about the little girl uh, whose mama killed her. And, Taylor. Yes. And I'm, I'm getting calls from Jacksonville, Florida about that. So it's like, that's for me, again, that's what this is about. This is about uh, bringing all this stuff to the forefront and nobody else being snatched. Nobody else being killed. This is crazy. They snatching folks out of lift cars right now. This lady said a van pulled up to her car the other day and tried to snatch her and put her in the van. This is getting out of control. This is getting out of control. And unfortunately, it takes people like Cupcake to bring the recognition to it that it deserves to start doing something about it. And I swear to God, I'm going to do my part. I'm going to do my part, not just for Cupcake, but for all these other babies whose mamas and relatives is reaching out to me. Because the media just wants to tell what they want people to hear. That's not what this is about. This is about you telling your story. Not for them to go back to the studio and edit it and make it sound like they want it to sound. No, ma'am. This is about you telling you and Cupcake's story. You and you alone. And that's what I plan to do. I've been doing a lot of research, and I plan on putting together something very beautiful for Cupcake that I hope brings a lot of recognition to this case and to many cases to follow and those that have already come. And I mean, it's just ridiculous. So at the end of the day, that's what I pray for. I pray that the world sees this ugly world we live in, and we start to pay attention to it and start protecting each other. Every one of us has to protect each other. If I see you on the street, I got to have my eyes out for you just as much as for myself. Awareness. Awareness is the key. It's the key. It's the key. We got to all be aware. We got to all keep our eyes and ears open. 
for our sisters and these black women running around here getting abducted every day. It's not even just black women. It's not. It's, it's not. all racist. It is. We it is. all God's children. Yes, and I think are. a lot of people miss that big picture. It's not about who we know. These were innocent kids out playing in a normal community. And Patrick and Derek ruined that. Mm. Not just black communities. It's all over the world. It's true. It's true. But it's amazing because for Cupcake to be a young black baby, it's amazing to me that she did open the eyes of the world like that. Because like you said, black women, we are constantly targeted. Yes. But it's all racist that has been targeted. Well, and at the end of the day, we still have a baby alive. We still have a baby that has a bright future in front of him. And that's who we got to pour our love and arms around right now. Because he's still here with us. And he and is... And he loves her. Yes, he does. Dearly. She bossed him <laughs> around. Mm -hmm. I can hear her every morning. You can see, look at them. They were they were almost twins. Mm -hmm. They look a lot alike. A lot alike. And they again... They was unbreakable. Yeah, so one other thing I'm going to ask you before we let go of all of this, because this is something else I want to put a quiet to. One of the things that a lot of people is saying is that you got tired of being a mother. <laughs> How do you get tired of being a mother? Get tired. It How do you, I mean, like, we all, we all as mothers get frustrated, yeah. but not one time in my life have I ever said, I ain't going to do this no more. Somebody come get this child, I don't want to do this no Anybody more. Anybody who knows me. Like I said, when you talk to me, that's all you're going to hear about is what Cupcake and Amari did. If I was so tired of being a mother, I wouldn't have been at every practice my, my son had. And guess what? Every practice he was at, guess what? Cupcake was right there with me. Every event or situation that they had, guess what? I was there. One thing about it, I never grow tired of being a mother. If that's the case... Like you said, look at the pictures of Cupcake. Right, right, right. And there was no sign of neglect there to me. This was a well-dressed, well-loved child, and you could see it. You could see it. She's outside playing on brand-new bikes, and that's not, a ch that's not coming from a mother who don't want her child. Okay? I know mothers who don't want their children. And bless their hearts, it's drugs usually that push them that way. It's not them on their own recognizance. But it's drugs and alcohol that may alter the way a mother treats her child. But I did not see that. You can see when there is neglect with a child. Because it's, it's exuded through their attitude, through their behavior, and all of that. And what I saw from you and Cupcake was an amazing relationship. I see y'all in the car singing together. You know what I'm saying? I see. That's what I saw. I'm telling you, I've done my homework. Okay, I'm not sitting here talking from he said, she said. I went through your page. I watched videos of you and Cupcake. Okay, I did not see a mother who was tired. I did not see a mother who was neglecting her child. And that's why I reached out to you and said, please tell your story and shut all these people down because they got too much to say about what they know very little about and that's very disturbing to me with the internet which is why when I said to your mom I was like the reason why people are believing all this stuff is because Dominique is the only one talking mm -hmm. we got to get April to say her side so people can shut up because that's what needs to happen so again I'm proud of you I'm very very proud of you and uh, I want you and your whole family to know if there's anything I can do to help I'm here, and y'all know that. I've said it before, and I'll keep saying it. I'm going to keep fighting for not only Cupcake, but all of these babies out here that, that this terrible stuff is happening to. No matter to. what race. It don't matter. No, ma'am, it does not matter. I only mention the black race because there is, seems to be a target against us. It really does. Even though other women are getting abducted, it seems like the numbers amongst black women is alarming. But when we leave here and we go in them golden gates, we're all guys sure. That's right. That's right. It won't matter the color of your skin. You don't have any. Your spirit has no color. Okay? And that's the one thing I want you to know, too, is that in death, death is just a, is, 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 is the, 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 the human flesh dying. Cupcake is alive and well. Okay? That spirit is affecting a lot of people. I'm talking about a lot of people. Did y'all know about all these secret groups and stuff on Facebook? It's so many secret groups and stuff and people talk about they investigating the case and I'm talking about, I'm telling y'all, it will blow you away. Okay? It will blow you away. You see how the next door is 
is missing, a state a white person is missing. Do you notice how they race stand behind them? Mm -hmm. The thing about us black people, mm -hmm. we so eager to tear each other down. That's right. That you don't see the bigger picture in front of your face. That's mm -hmm. right. It is sad. It is. And I've seen that, and I'm, I've been noticing a lot. Yeah, I'm in the human trafficking group. Uh, well, you know, they then you know what child is it here, there, everywhere. They constantly post it, and you, the numbers is, Stay. oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's way, way up there. It is. And it seems like you just know it didn't happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. But Cupcake brought home. Cupcake brought it home. And I said that. It's like, what is it about Cupcake that... She brought all of this to the forefront, man. I'm not even kidding. This is the first time I've seen this many black people rally up with each other yes. and stand behind each other was with this. It really is. I've well, seen... It, oh, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. White folks is behind her big time. In them secret groups that I'm talking about, most of those are started by white folks. And they in there, they in there showing April love. They were one of, one of them groups was one of the biggest groups that went off on me about Dominique. One of those groups is one of the biggest groups. It's called Investigation for Cupcake or something like that. It's a private group. Okay? It's a private group. Yeah. Because, like I said, you have to be a mother. To know. To, to know. know. To That's know right. A mother. That's so right. Like I said about my grandchild, I didn't know her to be known in this matter. I was thinking like they a star or sing or something. But I know that God is using that. This is better than a celebrity. Yes. Yes. This yes. right here is better than celebrity. I worked with celebrities all my life and celebrities ain't nothing nice. This where Cupcake is, she's like an angel. Yeah, okay, she's been given wings. Yeah. Okay, celebrities get earth wings. Yeah. Okay, Cupcake got yeah. eternal yeah. wings. Okay, yeah. wings that cannot be taken away. Wings that can't be gossiped out. Okay, this is somebody who is going to touch folks for the rest of this here, what we know as life. Yeah. Cupcake will never die. Cupcake will never die. It's just like Trayvon Martin. Okay, the baby has with that name ain't gonna never go to, go nowhere. Okay, that name and look at all the kids that have been shot and killed, and yet Trayvon stand out. Okay, Cupcake stands out. There's a reason for that, and each one of their cases was significant significant to a certain problem we have in society. With Trayvon, it was racism that needed to be uncovered. Okay, and then with to me, justice still ain't been had in that case. Okay, because as long as Zimmerman is walking around here breathing. Yeah. Justice has not been served. Okay, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna interview his. I'm, I'm gonna interview Trayvon Martin's mama because I want her to tell the world what it's like to have to walk around looking at your killer, bragging about you killing your son. Imagine knowing who killed your your child, and then they got away with it. That is horrific. Yeah. That is horrific. To know that the person got away with taking your child's breath, that's terrible. So that's what that's again hoping and praying that God put all of this together so that we can start rallying together. Because we have to. Black race gonna have to come together. A human race has ladies and gentlemen, this has to be the saddest story for any parent anywhere in the world. This is Sherry Hill. You've been tuned in to Untold. Exposing the truth about viral. I'm sure you didn't get much sleep. Well, I ain't gonna get no sleep. I've been out all night. I looked through everything around here, every empty school, every band and building, and I won't stop. I won't stop. It's gonna be an all week thing. I got my. Miss Brown. It's one of the video. So right now...